Hello friends, I am Shweta Singh, Assistant Professor, Biani Girls College. I welcome you all on behalf of Guru KPU. The topic of my lecture is Introduction of Recombinant DNA into Host Cell. So these are the various techniques which can be employed in order to introduce a recombinant DNA into host cell. Number one is transformation. This is a technique in which a naked DNA is inserted into the bacterial cell from the culture medium. So this is how a DNA is introduced into a bacterial cell which is present in a culture medium. We can also add calcium chloride to that. A size of 15 kilo base pair can be used to introduce in case of transformation. The second step is transduction. In transduction what we do is that we insert a DNA segment into the bacteria through a virus or a bacteriophage and a size of 38 to 50 kilo base pair this can be introduced. The third is transfection. Transfection is just similar to transformation. The only difference is that in transfection this happens in case of eukaryotic cells not in prokaryote like in bacteria. This process is same the DNA, the culture and also we can use calcium chloride in case of transfection. Fourth is microinjection. In microinjection, the DNA is directly injected into the bacterial cell or the eukaryotic cell using a micro pipette. Fifth is biolistic. In biolistic, what we do, we target the cell of plant or even animal by using a micro projectile gun. In that micro projectile gun, we can use a gun powder in the form of helium. It is also called as micro projectile bombardment and this occurs at a speed of around 300 to 600 per second. Sixth is electroporation. In electroporation, electricity is provided uh, that is nearby 4 to 8 kilovolt for 4 to 5 seconds and in this small holes are created into the cell so that DNA can be easily inserted. Seventh is liposome fusion. In liposome fusion, what happens is li liposome is a kind of a small uh, spherical vesicle made up of phospholipids and this can be used to, uh, to fuse this liposome with other cells so that DNA this can be transferred to the other cells. So these were the various techniques uh, for introducing the recombinant DNA into the host cells and for more details please log on to our website www.gurukpo.com. Thank you, thank you and thank you.